This is my original format. Prototype pocket mixer. Uh, this is designed for teenage engineering products specifically, but it could also work with uh, Quark Volcas and other devices that accept analog sync pulses. So essentially, it takes one master input, splits that to sync out, and that input also brings audio to this mixer channel. These inputs bring audio to this mixer channel, uh, each mixer channel there. And then this quarter inch output is the sum out to the mixer. Been toying around with this for a long time, but um, now I actually have this version, which is uh, same thing, a little bit refined, smaller nuts on these pots, better pots, some um, legending for how things go. So as you can see, one input, there's another, uh, this is a sync and audio input. These are audio only inputs. These are outputs at the top for sync to these devices. And then there is the same sum out that can run to a mixing board. This is an entirely passive device. I'm actually working on a active version of this now because as, uh, as you know, with passive devices, there is a volume drop through the way that these input signals are summed, but there's also zero additional noise. So uh, working on a, a, an active version that will have a nine volt DC power input, and then these um, volume controls will actually be able to provide unity gain as well as a little bit of a volume boost, which is quite helpful with the pocket operator uh, series because some of them need a bit more volume boost than the other ones do. So let's take a quick look about how this all connects and how everything works. Okay, so to do an appropriate demo of this, um, traditionally before I have de demoed this with just pocket operators, but now there is a brand new operating system update in the OP1, which allows it to send sync signal out. So we'll do a demo with these devices here and um, just really want to quickly show that I've got the OP1, the Rhythm, the Office, the Robot, the Arcade, and the Sub. Now all of these are going to get connected up to the pocket mixer, but I wanted to show really quickly that in each of these devices uh, we'll be running sync out of the pocket mixer to the input of each pocket operator. This audio out will go to the pocket operator input for audio. And then each pocket operator is going to be a slave to the sync signal coming from the OP1. So we'll hold um, function and BPM and we're going to want to make sure each pocket operator is on SY2, which will receive the sync and broadcast only audio out into the pocket mixer. So for the sake of the video, just assume I've done that with all of these here. And let's uh, really quickly hook everything up. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take this audio output jack from our master, the Teenage Engineering OP1. We're gonna plug that into input one. And then what we're also gonna do is turn the OP1 mode to sync, PO sync. Okay. Now, this first pocket operator, the rhythm, we're gonna put that and send sync from the pocket mixer to the input. Connect the audio output. We'll do the same with all the rest of the devices here. So now with each of the pocket operators, we're gonna to wanna to make sure, let me just verify that I have this one on SY2. So in the OP1, I wanna make sure I've got a good clean loop. So we're gonna navigate through the tape Make sure to put the, the in cursor right on exact time code out of the loop, right on the exact piece of time code there uh, from the internal timing of the OP1. Now the rest of these guys, we should, uh, we're going to hit, make sure to hit stop and then play on each of them because that means they're primed and ready to go as soon as they receive a sync signal. And now we can go ahead 
and press play on the OP-1. And you'll pretty much only hear the OP-1 in the beginning. Okay, this is the song I was working on in a prior video. Okay, now we can bring up the rhythm. Turn the rhythm off, bring up the office. Robot. Arcade. down the OP. Bring up rhythm. Office. concept really independent volume control over the signal from all of the audio inputs just like any other mixer and even though it's passive it still sounds great you do have to jack your input gain up on your mixing board or your audio sound card a little bit more than normal but no external power supply noise all you get is a, a summed version of what you send into it So, Pocket Mixer, what's going on with this thing? Well, at this point I've only been prototyping. I've had a lot of questions about when or where is this available, and uh, still just trying to find a partner and um, somebody to help me build these, because it does take a while to drill the case, get everything soldered, ever get everything together. So if, uh, if you want to partner with me, you know of anybody who wants to partner with me to go in on getting these things built and available for consumers contact me privately love to chat with you a little bit more uh, it's pretty pretty easy to build it just takes time and uh, there's some optimization that can be done to make it a lot easier to build and um, hopefully someday these things will be on the market at this point it's been a fun DIY project I think it's got a lot of potential and uh, hopefully again someday these will be available for distribution but for right now they are a uh, one-off private thing until further notice. So this is Thomas White for the Natural Rhythm Equipment Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video and catch you on the next one.